Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In yesterday's MT Predictor video we had a look at the Bank Nifty over there in India and uh, we're looking at some good trade setups that were falling in um, the direction of the large degree trend. Today I'd like to have a look at uh, another good setup that's unfolding, uh, this time on the Nifty, again over there in India, and again the similar approach of using the higher time frame uh, charts as well. But as usual let's start with our risk disclaimer and remind you that all the, uh, that all examples in these videos should be considered as hypothetical no trades are actually taken they're just shown for illustration and training purposes only remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing put another way all professional traders uh, know and understand but more importantly accept that losses can and will and do unfold it's, uh, it's a part of every trading approach no matter what you do there always will be losing trades right let's have a look at the nifty Remember, we don't use MT Predictor as a black box system where we just purely and simply look at our automatic trade setups, uh, perhaps in the direction of our MTP trend where red's down, black is basically flat or in the process of making a reversal, and blue is up. We look to our higher time frame charts. Why do we do this? Because we understand that half the time markets are basically random. And this is an important point to stress is that half the time, or maybe slightly more, you basically won't know what the pattern is, therefore you just have to stand aside, look for another market, another time frame, perhaps another, uh, or, or wait till the market pattern becomes clear. So how do we decide whether when the pattern is becoming clear? Well, as we uh, looked at in yesterday's uh, video, we looked to the higher time frame chart. Now the higher time frame chart is a chart between three and five time frames higher. <coughs> Excuse me. In this case, because this is a three minute chart, uh, we look to the 15 minute chart. If you're, say, trading 15-minute Forex, you'd look to the hourly chart. If you're, say, trading daily stocks, for example, you'd look to the weekly chart. And here we look for previous swing highs and lows. So I'm just going to use our training mode <clears throat> and jump back to just before today opened. Today is basically Tuesday the 13th of November. Now, remember in yesterday's um, video, we looked at the last swing off the high in the uh, bank nifty so this would have been the first place where you'd have been <coughs> excuse me it could be a cough today first place where you'd be looking for support and as you can see yesterday on the nifty it went through that so if it goes through it you then look to the next uh, or the previous significant swing high or low so on this chart it would have been either this one so we can right mouse click do decision point or perhaps you may have actually used this one here and as you can see they're basically in the same place so we'll just remove that one so it doesn't confuse the confuse the chart. So as you can see, the market's coming down into this higher time frame support. If I turn training mode off, you can see what's happened today. Is basically the market has now made a meaningful reversal at this DP support level. So what does that look like on the shorter time frame chart that you'd actually be trading? Well, on the shorter time frame chart, can you see here? Here's where we opened this morning. <clears throat> basically, the market made a meaningful reversal at this. In other words, it it found support here. It made an initial rally up. In Elliott Wave terms, that would be wave one. It then made an ABC correction down. If I right mouse click here and do Elliott Wave Intermediate, you can see there's our ABC correction down into a potential low. So this would be a good trade setup to take. Can you see how this is unfolding after we've made higher time frame support? Therefore, the large degree trend is clearly up. Therefore, you'd be looking for buy setups and not sell setups. Our MTP trend is black so it indicates you're still in the process of making a reversal coming off this low. So initially this would be a good trade setup to take. So let's right mouse click over the blue buy bar, do analysis and you can see there would be your first target for a nice profit. I'll just change that to a rupee account depending on what size account. You can see you have different accounts in different currencies if you want and you can change the size of that as well. So it's not important the actual currency um, here, what's important is the uh, risk reward. Remember, losses can and will uh, unfold. They always will have losing trades, but the trick is keeping the loss small. This is why we use position sizing to vary the number of lots, contracts, or shares, contracts in this case, to keep the losses at what we call minus 1R. So in this case, at this first target, it will be plus 3.9. Can I call that 4 for easy maths? So almost four times greater than the initial risk required to take the trade. Now, for you guys who are a little bit more experienced with MT Predictor, you'll have noticed that because this is a major low, <coughs> this would be a wave one. The initial correction down here would be wave two. 
subdividing into an ABC, which as we've seen. So this will be a special case, and this will be what we call our Wave 3 trade setup. So off here, we're anticipating a move into the typical Wave 3 WPT, which as you can see, the market did carry on to do. So if you'd traded into there, that would have increased the profit to almost 9R. So that would be for the more experienced users among you. Also, you'd have noticed that this is the last swing into the low. This is the first uh, pivot we used for projecting next, in this case, resistance areas because the market's rallying. So a DP off this high here would also be beyond these levels up at this area here in around 7R. If you're slightly concerned by that, if you go down to the smaller time frame, a slightly smaller time frame, the uh, two minute chart, you can see there's our TS3 W3 tra trade setup found. So here, if I right mouse click over this blue buy bar, don't do the analysis, you can see it goes to the typical way three WPT target straight away. On the two minute chart, you would have seen that there was a history triangle here, so there would have actually been a losing trade a little bit earlier there, and that would have been your one hour loss before coming into Oops, just clear that all off into this setup here for approximately 10 hour profit. But the, you can see how this is the idea is this is a major low. The initial rally up here is wave one down in here to an ABC correction. If I now right mouse click at the top here, do Elliott wave major. You can see this is what it basically is. It's a wave one, a wave two that subdivides into an ABC. We catch the end of the wave two or the start of the wave three to then trade the wave three, which is normally the strongest and longest in a completed five wave sequence, which therefore has the largest profit potential. So, so our initial target would be the typical wave three WPT. This is the area where most wave threes tend to, to finish. In this case, it went a little bit beyond that. Um, if you had a trailed with your ATR stop, which is the blue dot, it would have increased the profit a little bit more, but 10 hour profit at that level is pretty significant as well. So that was a very nice trade setup, whether you're on the two minute chart or whether you're on the three minute chart and use your experience to know to <clears throat> go for the way three WPT there. But either way, can you see how it is all set up on the higher time frame? In other words, we placed our DP on the chart on the higher time frame and we waited till the market made a meaningful reversal off those levels to then define the picture is becoming clearer. In other words, it's not random, it's becoming clearer. If we drop over to the bank nifty just for a quick set, uh, set, uh, look here there was actually a very good manual trade set up at the low of the day here if i go over to our uh, volume can you see how there was a manual vs setup so if i um, place the dp off this low here you can see how the market came down and made the low of the day right at that level that bar there was on our high volume failing to uh, uh, follow through on the break of that low. The next bar then uh, failed to carry on down to new lows. In other words, that indicated professional money was coming in and the market was then likely to rally. So that was a good manual setup on the three minute chart. Again, if you'd had your scanner running and you'd had different time frames in your scanner, oops, just drag that across. I've got three and five minutes ones in there in the scanner, but if you'd had uh, those running, you'd have seen on your five minute chart on the uh, bank nifty, <clears throat> it would have been found as our automatic VS setup as well. You can see clearly there with the high volume spike. So right mouse click over that blue buy bar, do the analysis, there would be your long trade, in this case for a nice 4.4 R profit. Maybe looking to run it a bit further if you're more experienced, but either way, that was the low coming in on the bank nifty, and I think that was coming in at about the same time as are low on the nifty as well. So if I put the two charts side by side, whoops, there we go, two charts side by side, that would have given you extra confidence that a low was coming on the nifty and also a low was coming on the bank nifty at the same time as well, both from the same kind of um, analysis. Well, this one was our VS setup, that was our TS3 W3 uh, trade setup. So basically another good day on uh, the Indian markets today where we had a, in particular, a nice clean clear setup on the, the Nifty there for a, a nice long trade setup. And also if you're a bit more experienced, our VS setup coming in there on the five minute chart on the Bank Nifty. So a good day again for the Indian markets, this time on the long side, but in particular how, I'll just put those charts back over the top of each other, particularly how on the Nifty, it was all set up by 
putting our higher time frame DP on the chart to start with and noticing that the market came in and made a re meaningful reversal, basically nailing the low of the day there for you to set the largely trend to be up.